Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. As you can see, we are getting another perfect rejection from this resistance level that I talked about in yesterday's video, as well as Ethereum still breaking down from this triangle pattern right here. And in today's video, I'm also talking about Solana and what is going on with that because we saw a big dump to the downside today. So I'm going to cover all of that and even more in this video. So let's get right into the analysis. First of all, taking a look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, you can see that we got a perfect bounce and a perfect rejection right here. However, do not get fooled because we are simply chopping around sideways in this larger triangle pattern on the daily time frame. And in the case that we do see a breakout to the upside, then the price target would roughly be 78.5K for the price of Bitcoin. However, if we break out to the downside, then the price target would roughly speaking be 58.3K. So it is very important to keep track of this triangle pattern right here over the next coming days or so. Ultimately, it will break out before April 19th, roughly speaking. But of course, it can already break out earlier before then. So if you want to stay up to date with the daily crypto price action, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you know whenever I post a video, which is every single day. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the 24 hour time frame, you can see that right here at about 69,500 US dollars, there's a lot of liquidity. And as you know, if you typically watch my videos, the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. And when we zoom out, we can start to see some pretty interesting developments as there is now a lot of liquidity above us as well as below us. So again, right here, you can see from about 69,000 all the way up to 70.4K, we have a lot of liquidity. And then as well to the downside, we have about $560 million worth of liquidity right here from about $65,000 all the way down to about $64,000. So to make this a little more visual within the triangle pattern that I talked about earlier, well, this is what it looks like. So you have a lot of liquidity to the upside and a lot of liquidity to the downside. And in the case that it reaches one of these price levels, well, for example, if it reaches the level to the upside, then you will see a lot of Bitcoin shorts get liquidated, meaning they lose their money on their trade. And in the case that we do move down to this level right here, then all of the longs will get liquidated where they lose their money on their trade. So now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow table, as you can see right here, yesterday we had an inflow of about $213 million. And this was because the Grail Bitcoin ETF only sold about $80 million worth of Bitcoin and the BlackRock and Fidelity ETFs bought over $100 million worth each. So we can start to see, as you can see on this very right side column right here, that some interest is coming back into these Bitcoin ETFs. So it will be very interesting to keep track of this over the coming days. However, tomorrow the Bitcoin ETFs won't be trading as it will be in the weekend. So we will continue to look at this next week. Now taking a look at Ethereum on the four hour time frame, you can see that right here when we broke down, we saw this move to the downside, which I have been talking about over the past couple of days or so. And technically this price target is still active at about 3130. So technically we could expect to see a move further to the downside in order to complete this pattern. However, this isn't guaranteed. So that is just something to keep in mind. And zooming out a little bit on the Ethereum weekly chart, you can see that right here at about $4,000, we got a rejection from this Fibonacci level. So right here, you can see that we got the rejection and then we moved down and this is where we are trading now. And we are right around this 618 Fibonacci level which typically acts as a tough resistance level to break. However, as we went above it, right now it counts as a level of support. So it is very important for this week as we enter into the weekend that we actually on Sunday are trading above this 618 Fibonacci level because in the case that we do see a move below it and then we close the week below the Fibonacci level, that would not be bullish for the Ethereum price. So that is also something that we need to keep an eye on. So in the short term, what do we need to look out for? Well, you have this support level right here at 3250 all the way down to 3150. So this will be a very important level to hold because the next support level below that is already at $3,000. 
down to about 2850. So in the case that we do break down from this level, then we could expect to see some price action at around those levels. And in the case that we do break above this Fibonacci level and start trading higher, well, then the next level that we need to look out for in terms of resistance is right here at about 3450 all the way up to 3550. And then lastly, above that, we have a very critical level to break, which is sitting at about 3650 because we have already been rejected from this price level three times. Now let's take a look at Solana on the daily time frame. Right here, you can see we got a rejection from the 786 Fibonacci level. And then after chopping around for a little bit, we moved back down to the current level, which is at the 618 Fibonacci level. So I would expect to see some support here and potentially start moving back to the upside. However, there has of course been some very bearish news for Solana today. Because as you can see right here, about 75% of transactions on Solana are failing. And this is what that chart actually looks like. So the red is obviously the failed transactions and the green are the successful transactions. And you can see that this has just been steadily going down. So zooming in on the short term for Solana, you can see that this has clearly been reflected in the price. However, in my opinion, I think this is just some short term bearish news for Solana. It's not some, something that's going to like end the coin or whatever. I think this will just be fixed eventually and then the price starts moving back up. So if this is your first time in a crypto bull run or something, sometimes you just have bad news and it's bad for the price action in the short term. But of course, just zooming out a little bit, we are still clearly in just a regular bullish trend. Even in a bullish trend, you can have big pullbacks along the way. And of course, that can be fueled by, for example, some bearish news like today. So what do we need to look out for for Solana in the short term here? Well, first of all, we have a support level right here from about 171 down to about 166. And this is a pretty important support level to hold because in the case that we do lose it, it would not be nice for the price of Solana. There's a very small level of support right here at about 161. But I do think in the case that we do just see a larger pullback, well, then we will just probably <laughs> slice right through this support level. However, in the case that we do see even more bearish price action, then there's a big level of support at about 150 down to about 140 US dollars. So that's it in terms of support levels. What do we need to look out for in terms of resistance in the short term? Well, right here at about 176, you have a resistance level all the way up to about 181. One last thing to note about this bearish price action that if you take a look at the RSI indicator, which you can see right here, we almost reached oversold territories, which is when the RSI, the momentum indicator, goes below a level of 30. So potentially this RSI needs some time to reset before another potential move to the downside. And the way the RSI resets is by either some bullish price action or simply the price just chopping around sideways. Because in the case that the RSI is above 50, then it means we are in an uptrend. And in the case that the RSI is below 50, we are in a downtrend. So whenever the RSI reaches a neutral level, it means we are simply trading sideways. Now, there are, of course, even more resistance levels in the short term. However, I don't think we will be reaching these before I post my next video. So if you want me to cover Solana again in tomorrow's video, then definitely let me know in the comments. Also, if you haven't joined my free crypto community yet, you can do it with the first link of the description. Once you join, you simply click on this verify and enter the captcha, and then you can enter the server right here. It's a great place to share and build your crypto knowledge, as well as meet like-minded, ambitious individuals. So if that's something you're interested in, then definitely click that link. Also, let's get this video that you're watching right now to 20 likes. That would be really awesome to see, and it helps the algorithm promote this video to more people. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.